Hi, this is Griffpatch. Uh, I'm really excited that you're listening to this. Um, not really sure what I'm doing at the moment, but I just wanted to be able to maybe put together some YouTube videos. I've often been asked, and uh, I don't really have much of a presence on YouTube, so uh, this is a start. <laughs> not that I'm uh, set up for this. I'm uh, at present uh, sitting in my kitchen with my with a microphone shoved into a boot to hold it somewhere near my face. So it's not the most comfortable of, uh, of situations to be in, but uh, I thought I'd give it a go. Um, not really sure what I'm even going to show you, but uh, I thought it'd be a good a good way of experimenting and seeing uh, whether it actually works, uh, this screen capture and that. So I'm going to create a new project and, uh, and off we go. Um, I expect in future people might uh, want to ask me uh, some questions and maybe I can show show off some things to uh, try and answer those questions. Uh, but for now, in the lack of anything more deep, I'm just going to have a bit of a play around really. Um, so let's just get uh, Scratchy to do something interesting. Um, I'm just going to set him up uh, to point to the right like he currently is, just because I'm pretty sure we're going to make him move around. It's good to set him back to where he is now. I'll stick him on the far left of the screen, uh, which is 240, but I'll move it to 30, that's about right. There we go. And I'll make him a lot bigger to begin with. Set size to 200. Should do the trick. Let's just see that. Yeah, that's great. Now, what I want to do first is have him move in to roughly the middle, but I don't want to just have him move straight. But uh, Let's just see. So, um, if I do a repeat loop here, I'll just do a forever loop for now just so we can see him working. Let's just move him forward um, like so. Let's just see. Okay, so there we go. He moves. He doesn't stop in the middle and he moves at a pretty straight uh, speed, very constant. We don't want that either. So we want him to slow down as he moves. So what I'm going to do is introduce a new variable called speed. And I'm going to do it for this sprite only. Now that's important because I don't want any other clones or sprites to uh, have access to this variable. This is this cat's speed only. Okay, and I'm going to click off the tick to stop it appearing on the screen. I don't want it to be taking up any of the speed, the, play, uh, the screen space. So let's set his speed just here and I'll set it to 10 for now. And now I will make him move by speed. So that will do the same at the moment, no difference. He's moving by speed. So I'm going to alter the speed as he moves. So I'm going to set his speed to what his current speed is, multiplied by now slightly less than one. So that every time it goes around this loop, speed will get smaller and smaller. So if I run that now, there we go. Simple as that. He now moves forward and speed gets smaller and smaller. In fact, if we put speed back on again, you'll see speed slowly gets down to zero point. Very, very small. It doesn't move at all. So that's good. Excellent. Now, what I was thinking of doing in this demo uh, is doing maybe a bit of cloning so that I could click on that cat and little versions of him would spin off in different directions. So let's give that a go. So let's have uh, when this sprite is clicked. Now what we're going to do in here is create three cats from the one cat. So that means I'm going to create two clones and leave the one that we already have. So to do that we'll need a repeat block. Now remember that's two clones. So we'll have repeat two and we will create a clone of ourselves. That's great. What else do I want to do? Um, I want to turn and we'll turn uh, after we clone and we'll turn by 120 since we're doing three cats. So 320s is 360, which is a full circle. In fact, if we just click him now, there we go, three cats. So that's great, that's done what we wanted. And that will happen every time. Whoop. 
the last one still moves on. <laughs> Great. So now you can see why I put in the point direction 90 degrees at the beginning when we click the flag. So otherwise we'd be pointing in this very strange direction. So we always start from the same beginning. That's great. So we've got three cats in three directions. What I wanted them to do was to move off in the different directions, just like the first cat moved. So for this, we currently have one forever loop on the one cat that starts out, but not on these new clones. So what we can do is we can create a custom block called move cat. Oop, caps locks there, that's better. Okay, and we'll take this bit here, the setting the speed and the loop from the main green flag into my move cat and replace it there with move cat. So that will now do the same as it always did. So now that click flag is doing this move cat. But what I want to do is have each of these clones also call the move cat. So I can move this down to a new block. Hold on. What I should have done is put a when there we go. When I start as a clone. So each of the clones will now also call into move cat. So let's just run that again. I click him. There. Now, the two clones that were uh, created zoomed off. The one that I already had didn't. Now, why was that? What did I need to do that I did not do? Ah, yes, I thought I did. So, what I really should be doing is forgetting this set speed in here. Let's get rid of that. Let's set the speed one in here, like that. So the very first one moves, but I'm just going to duplicate that. Get rid of that move cap. I want to set the speed over here. Where? Where do I want it? Here. So when you hit this, this first cat is clicked. I'm going to set the speed of the new cat. The, sorry, the cat that's clicked to start him going off again, and also the ones that are cloned will move at the same speed as well. That is right. I have got that right. Good. Right. So let's just try 10 for now. That's fine. Let's do that. There we go. And I click him again. And I click him again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And, again. and they just keep splitting. That's crazy. But of course, when things split, they should get smaller, shouldn't they? Obviously. So let's make him go smaller when he splits. So in looks, set size. Here we go. So I shall do it again in here. So I set the speed and I want to set the size. Now his size, I want him to be half the size he originally was. So I'm going to divide his size. If we go into looks again, we can have the size block. So set size to the current size divided by two. That's half the size. Try that again then. So click. There we go. Nice. The only problem is he doesn't half move fast when he's little. You'd expect his speed to be like relative to his size, really, wouldn't you? So let's make it so that his speed is relative to his size. So when we're setting speed to 10 here, let's change that. What we shall do instead, set his speed to B. Now we can choose here, yeah, let's set it to, I'll just duplicate size there. Set his speed to the size divided by something. And uh, let's do, let's try 15 in there. So click, click, click. This is better. Apart from they moved a bit too far out, I'll tell you what I'll do. Rather than setting the speed and then setting the size, I'll set the size so it gets smaller first because then his speed is relative to the size he's now become rather than the size he was. Try that again. Ah, this is good. Now look at that. See what this is doing. This is quite interesting. 
if I keep clicking them, is actually creating this quite interesting pattern. And what is interesting is because it's actually um, it's actually very similar to a fractal pattern. Well, it's a pattern that just keeps going on forever and ever. So if you could zoom in, you could keep doing this, and you'd make a pattern that just you could zoom in and in and in because we keep splitting them and splitting them and splitting them. Of course, Scratch will read its clone limit before we could do that, but it's quite an interesting thing, and perhaps it's something we could actually play with. Um, so rather than me having to click these, how about we get them to automatically split when they slow down? So when I click here and I start it off, he slows down. How about we get him to to pop that point and turn into three cats? And we'll see where that goes. So that would mean having to get rid of this sprite clicked and have that occur automatically um, when the speed gets slower. Now the cat is getting slower in this move cat sprite. Um, sorry, custom block. So we'll have to put an if in there. Let's put it in underneath the move. And we'll say if the speed is less than, um, let's say 0 0.1. So this is getting really slow, so less than a pixel. So that's once it gets very slow, then, ah, now can't do this yet because what we need is this bit of script down here when it's clicked to be again in a, its own little custom block. So we'll get rid of the sprite clicked. We'll create a new block called split. Okay, so this code for splitting the cat into three is now called split. And we can pop the split into this speed over here. So it, when it gets slow, it'll call that. Let's just give that a go. What if I missed anything? Oh, there we go, pop, and then they will go, and then they will go, and they will go again, and I should think we will, oh, now it's gone a bit crazy, because we have run out of clones, so now it's kind of dancing, actually, I quite like it. It's quite funky. Hmm. Let's see that in uh, full screen because then you might be able to see the little cats. We're okay at this point, that's there. That's the bit where it goes wrong. So now the clones are not being created. What's happening is it's the one single cat is continuing running and the other clones never get started because Scratch is a 301 clone limit often the bane of many programmers' lives, but it's uh, there to stop the, your computer from overheating, from getting too slow. Right, cool. You know what might be quite fun is to add a pen trail to that, to be able to see where the cat moves as he splits. Let's try that, shall we? Um, so, let's start up. So we'll clear the screen to begin with. So it's always a good idea, and quite often also a good idea to stick a pen up at the beginning before we do everything, just in case the pen is left down, and that would mean that you'd have an extra line drawn from wherever it, the uh, scratch cat last was. We don't want that. So let's do that. Let's set a nice colour, maybe a green. Uh, there's a nice green. There's a nice green. Um, and then we just have to have a pen down before we start drawing. Let's just give that a go straight away. There we go. So now we can see each cat drawing its own little line. I like that. Huh. This um, this fractal triangle, It's I think it's called Shapinsky's triangle. Um, but I don't think that one dances like this. Uh, that's a bit uh, a bit more curious. But I do like the idea. I do love fractals. Um, we could even um, make this. You could start drawing like this. Kind of like, like almost like trees, don't they? These fractals. We could make the line a bit thicker on the main branch 
to begin with and thin out as it goes. That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, so pen size. So let's set the pen size. Where should I set it? I'll put it in here because all of the... No, I won't. No, I won't. Where should I put it? I'll put the initial pen size in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is set it relative to the size of the sprite. So looks size divided by let's go with 50 and I'll do the same in here after I've resized it when I split let's give that a go hmm. not sure I did that really thick enough Let's try a bit thicker. Let's try dividing it by 30 instead. I think we should stop it from doing this dancing, to be honest. Let's get it to be a proper triangle. Um, so to do that, we'd have to tell it not to split. So if I put an if around here, then if size is bigger than, hmm, let's say it's bigger than 10. So if it's size bigger than 10, then it goes ahead and shrinks and splits. Otherwise, it's just going to stop moving because it's going to continue in this little mouse, mouse, uh, scratch cat moving bit when it's got really slow. So if I just run that, let's see, let's see if we have a stable ending condition. And I think one more split, that shouldn't stop. Hey, there we go. Lots and lots of little scratch cats. Well, that was quite fun. I should think uh, you probably have a lot of fun with this, just uh, playing around with it. Maybe it needs a much darker background. Let's try black. Oh, I'm hmm. sure I like that quite as much as I thought I was going to. Maybe a uh, bit of a gradient there. Let's just see. That's nice. It's like he's uh, drawing a nice leaf. But it's curious, isn't it? There you are. Simple little cloning example and we've ended up with uh, Shabinsky's triangle. Well I think that's probably enough for this. Sorry about my waffling, let me know what you think and maybe I'll uh, create some some bit more in-depth tutorials and hopefully a little bit less waffly but uh, apologies for my waffling. Uh, scratch on!